Hey guys, it has been a while and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit struggling to to find to find desire to do more builds this league because I feel like I'm already bored of this league and uh, I can't wait to see the new league but for now in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, what I have been doing for the last I don't know, more than a week. Um, I kind of failed pre-builds or at least quit pre-builds. Uh, so first of all I was doing dark pack with the black cane uh, scepter that build was driving me insane i was so annoyed by that build just to quickly mention the black cane gives so much damage and it may not work that well with the, the dark pack but i just kind of wanted to i guess shoot two birds in, in uh, one stone i wanted to play with the dark pack for some reason i don't know why i thought that was a good idea and I wanted to do something else with the black end because black end just gives so much damage. And I saw so many people misunderstand how the changes to the black end work now. It's it's still a flat damage. It just it's it, it has been buffed by 50% that flat damage. So it gives from 440 to 660 flat physical damage to spells from the black end if you have 10 phantasms. The issue was generating those phantasms and i was thinking about doing like a rant video about summon phantasm gem and and why it doesn't really make sense that it only has 10 percent chance to summon phantasm on a single target uh, like uh, on a boss or a rare but i didn't really want to be too negative and the build was just annoying so i kind of quit that build didn't do any video about it and uh, decided to do Another build that I wanted to do, something with Detonate Dead, but I wanted to figure out something new that I haven't done with it. Detonate Dead is, is one of my favorite uh, spells. It looks amazing, it, it feels good if you get enough speed. But it is a bit clunky because you have to click two things, so I thought maybe I could do Spell Slinger, Detonate Dead. Yeah, I, I never really played with the Spell Slinger, I could do Desecrate in one. Uh, setup and spell slinger that we did in another setup sadly it doesn't with one attack it doesn't proc it properly even if you place in the right sequence like uh, if you place desecrate with spell slinger in the helmet and in the body armor you have spell slinger with that dead with one attack it doesn't doesn't automatically do two things because desecrate is not as instant as uh, that in dead and i thought yeah i'm gonna do that as a chieftain i mean i thought i'm doing something new until someone said but the fire vines are gonna be expensive because it's meta. People are doing spell slinger, Volta dead, and I was like, oh no, people are actually doing Volta dead. I completely forgot about it. So I thought I was doing something unique and and interesting, but it turns out I just used Detonate dead instead of Volta dead. So it's basically the same as Volta dead build, and the build also felt still a bit clunky. It's not too bad once you get the things going, but. Um, I guess I could quickly mention that if you use, let's say, Power Siphon linked to Barrage Support Gem and then use uh, Spell Slinger, it triggers it multiple times with one attack. Uh, it seems like every projectile is counted as a separate attack. However, Barrage Support Gem makes the attack animation much longer. And uh, I tried it, I personally did not like using Barrage Support Gem because it just makes me stuck in one place for longer even if you can cancel the animation but that's another issue i would just accidentally cancel the animation and not detonate the, the corpses and i just uh, went with the normal power siphon attacking once to create corpses then moving a bit just to reposition myself and then attacking again to to detonate that's that was for the clear speed and it worked all right the damage could be like 3 million dps against the single target but the build was also triggering me a lot because it was very squishy. I had no armor. Uh, I, by the way, I haven't finished the Uber Lab yet. So, and I don't have endurance charge generation properly. I, I don't have, I don't have a couple more things. And uh, I kind of got bored of it. It's not really interesting. Like I said, I thought I was doing something unique, but turns out people doing the same thing but basically with Voltel Dead which is um, better for the clear speed because Voltel Dead just chases down enemies it's a, it's slightly bit different um, because you need to be able to create more corpses for Voltel Dead and um, yeah so I thought you know what I kind of could convert this into flame dash for some reason I thought that is gonna be more interesting 
I believe that I frame dash with the with this build exactly, and somehow I was actually clearing enemies with just two link flame dash. But it was mostly because flame dash just did just enough damage with degen and hit for the explode body armor to clear the enemy packs. And I'm gonna show a couple clips of doing flame dash build. It's all right. I I mean for clear speed, what do you expect from such a small hitbox skill that you can only cast three times before the big cooldown. It's alright, single target is not great, so I'm gonna be quitting that as well. So I just wanted to make a video before I start a next build and talk about uh, Voltal Dead if you are gonna be interested in doing that and what I did and then, well, I don't know if I should even talk about Flame Dash, but the Flame Dash transition to the Flame Dash was very simple because the cluster jewels that I was getting uh, do match the flame dash because well I'm gonna let, let me talk about the items so divine is not even finished divine should be you want plus one to fire spell skill gems then you want flat fire damage to attacks local on the one you want attack speed and you want either spell damage or fire damage and you can craft this I just did not really want to invest my time and effort into crafting a wand uh, especially if I'm not really enjoying the build that much so I I don't have a proper one. My damage is not as good as it could be, um, and everything else is not properly set up. Uh, but yeah, one could be expensive, but you can very easily craft it. Uh, body armor I keep reusing this. Explode the body armor with friend zone hit. Uh, also keep reusing crown of the tyrant. It gives flat fire damage. It gives uh, nearby enemies have minus fire arrest. This is by the way cheaper, and non crit. The crit build has way less flexibility and is uh, actually much harder to build and as an uncrit if you can do 3 million dps without without massive investments i think that's all right against the series the shield i also wanted to get plus one to fire spell skill gems but turns out i also need a recover life on block because i'm getting um getting the thing glancing blows i still haven't got the <laughs> block nodes and then i went with the Owl Surprising Amulet uh, for the Anger reserves no mana and surprisingly this is actually very cheap like 1 Exalt, um, 1 1.5 Exalt at most, non corrupted. Oh actually I didn't even anoint this yet. So yeah, um, the belt Enduring Cry, I wanted Enduring Cry specifically because I did not have enough sockets for that and Enduring Cry it was needed because this is Chieftain. And as a chieftain, I need to be able to generate endurance charges and to consume them. Uh, I, I still haven't taken this note. But that's why you see Immortal Call on the left click. I would manually cast Enduring Cry. It procs, it gives me charges and it also procs this. So every second I do get endurance charges. And then on the left click just automatically use, uh, use those charges. And which this would give me more 15% more damage. Um, also I do need totem to get attention so this is kind of conditional thing uh, conditional build because it's not gonna be good for the clear speed so I thought I may as well just build for for full single target DPS and uh, the clear speed is is is, is alright the exploded by the armor plus herald of ash does does uh, a good job uh, then on the ring I have a plumber built and hit power siphon additional accuracy and combustion because I I do need to I do need to hit to uh, apply combustion because my main setup uh, had elemental weakness, uh, elemental, elemental focus, which disables, uh, which disables ability to ignite. The totem was uh, squashing ray totems because uh, this gives more damage uh, if you have a totem near near enemies, and squashing ray applies fire exposure, so you don't need another thing. I do have aspect of the spider uh, gloves, but I decided to not use aspect of the spider. I was just using a nav from the gloves. A nav gives more spell damage, and uh, uh, Herald of Ash does make it better for the clear speed. You also get basically the same damage as from uh, Aspect of the Spider. You can see my damage. This damage is uh, per corpse that detonated, and also with the spell hit without the the, the corpse explosion. When you combine everything, the damage is uh, very decent. Spell Slinger reserves mana, so. You don't have much options what to squeeze in for auras, that's why Owl Surprising is so good. And also I have Watcher's Eye from before as well. Uh, increase fire damage while affected by Anger, that gives a lot of damage as well. 
Uh, and uh, of course anger does give a lot and then I have three grand spectrum jewels it's it's just a lot of damage you could get more life and by the way in the uh, in the end build you would have over 6.4 thousand HP this is at level 88 and and it's pretty cheap build I wouldn't say that it's expensive uh, the, the expensive part could be wand and uh, and shield and then how surprising you could also add cinder swallow I just do not want to rely on that so yeah, I'm gonna leave Baffle Building in port code in the description with this that and dead. Now the the actually the cluster jewels that I'm using it may surprise you, but I'm using fire damage over time multiplier jewels for my detonate dead because it has cooked alive. Cooked alive just gives so much damage. It's it's the highest damage uh, you can get uh, from from medium jewels. That's why I picked these, and that's why it was so easy to transition into flame dash. <laughs> Uh, not really transition I guess because I quitted like two maps three maps after that uh, the same jewels still work you are getting still using grand spectrum in here uh, still using uh, this one still using that one just had to refund a couple points uh, to get to fire damage over time multiplier from these to these I mean it's not like someone is gonna be doing flame dash build I just wanted to quickly mention that yeah, Flame Dash isn't that great for the clear speed. I know who would have thought about it. Flame Dash isn't that great for the clear speed, right? Anyway, so that's gonna be it for this video. The next video, I I miss playing with the dancing door. I did it so long ago. So this time I'm gonna do it for the clear speed mostly. Dancing door, occultist, full cult conversion, and uh, with the occultist explosions. So we're gonna see how that works. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.